Laz on this side of the table because he got a pinched finger right before we started recording and he got sad. But I think he's feeling a bit better now. Who are we learning about today? John. George Washington. No. John <laughs> Trumbull. But well, we do learn about George Washington too. John Trumbull. Today we're learning about John Trumbull. Here he is. He, That's a wall. That's a wall's fire. He was born in 1756 and he died in 1843. That's he is from Connecticut in the United States. Okay, oh right there. John Trumbull is an American artist during the time of the American Revolution, and he's often called the painter of the revolution. Here's some interesting facts about John Trumbull. That he went to Harvard at the age of 15, and he entered into college as a junior, and he graduated in 1770. He also lost an eye in a childhood accident. First piece of art that we're gonna study by John Trumbull is known as the Declaration of Independence. If we get that in focus right there. Probably not. There you go, a little bit better. Anyway, this artwork is 12 foot by 18 foot. It is an oil painting on canvas. The painting shows the presentation, presentation of the draft of Declaration of Independence at Independence Hall in Philadelphia. It shows 42 of the 56 signers of the Declaration. And this painting is on display at the Rotunda, the U.S. Capitol, and it's been there since 1826. This also is a picture that was in the back of the $2 bill. This picture, you can see, it is static. Static means that it looks like that is a scene that is frozen in time. There's no movement. It's kind of like, bloop, and it froze in time. Another piece of really interesting um, facts about this artwork is that you can see all of these men's faces. All of their faces right here. And they're an in incredible detail because a lot of these people were alive when John Trumbull, when he painted it. So he actually used them as actual models for their picture, that he was able to look at their face and to be able to really get a good idea of what their features were and be able to transfer that to his picture so that we really do get a good representation of what these people look like. The second like. piece of art that we are going to study is the surrender of Lord Cornwallis. This painting depicts the surrender of British Lord Cornwallis at Yorktown in Virginia in 1781, which made the American independence almost certain. This painting is also on display at the Rotunda in the U.S. Capitol. And Trumbull completed his painting in 1820. Also, this is my crown that Josiah made me. He made me the queen. Now, when we were selecting this, oh, my crown's breaking, this curriculum, um, and I knew that we were gonna be studying about John Trumbull, we hoped to be able to go to the Capitol, since we live so close to the U.S. Capitol, to be able to go to the Rotunda, to be able to see a lot of this artwork, and unfortunately, um, that's not open to visitors now. So hopefully in the future, we can go again and maybe do a learning how where we're able to talk more about what we learn about the artwork. Thank you, Miss Hillary. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Josiah. So it's a picture of a Halo Man. Oh, okay. It's the amazing Master Chief. Thank you, okay, let's talk. So last time we went to Washington, D.C., which one of you kids wants to tell what happened? That's a forest fire. <laughs> Just like, I mean, James got the stomach bug. I was pregnant. That's forest fire. And James got the stomach bug, which then gave to all of us, but James is the one who barfed all over the metro. And Where's the metro? Like the, it's like a, like a little subway underneath. Oh like yeah, a, someone slipped in the bug. And then someone slipped in the bug. <laughs> 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 I got that on video. I got that on video. Someone, someone slipped in the barf. <laughs> Probably sick now too. Anyway, so we didn't quite make it to our White House tour and our tour of everything else we were gonna go see, but so DC was quite memorable last time we went. So we do hope to go again in the future. We do hope to share about our adventures there since it is such a great um, place to learn about John Trumbull. So we're gonna include a quick picture about what um, the Capitol's rotunda looks like. But a rotunda is a round building or a room that especially has a dome. So we'll include what our Capitol's rotunda looks like in case you have never seen it. Our third piece of art we're gonna study is this one right here. It is General George Washington at Trenton. It was painted in 1792 
The canvas is 63 inches wide by 92 and a half inches tall. This portrays the night before an important battle that ended up becoming a turning point for the Revolutionary War. Trumbull considered this the best painting he has ever painted. Now today we're gonna talk about perspective. Perspective is when an object up close, like George Washington right here, appears to be um, drawn bigger, is drawn bigger to show that it, it is up close, and then an object to show that it's smaller in the back, because in real life, George Washington probably was not taller than his horse, or bigger than his horse, but you can see in here from the perspective how he's drawn up close, it makes him look bigger. The horse right here looks smaller, and then in the back, you can see there's a dude back here, and obviously in real life, he's not that much, he doesn't come up to George Washington's waist. <laughs> but to show perspective, he's drawn much smaller. Fourth and final painting that we are going to study is this guy right here. This is called General George Washington resigning his commission. This is another painting that is on display at the Rotunda in the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. This painting shows the scene of General George Washington's resignation as commander of the Continental Army. It was painted in 1824. And the word resignation means to be able to retire or to give up your position. So here he is. John Trumbull was known as the painter of the revolution. Trumbull painted historical moments in America. Now it's time for you to think of a historical moment of your life. Maybe it was when you moved. Maybe it's something that's big that happened that was a change in your family. Maybe it's something small but really made a big impact in your life. Think about it. Now it's your turn to be able to use your crayons, your markers, your colored pencils, your paints, whatever you would like. And you can, you can draw, do not reenact it. You can draw your um, historical moment in your life and then please share it with us. What's a historical moment in your life you want so, to represent? Yeah, we got Playhouse for Christmas, which is right here. Our Playhouse from but, Christmas. But we, did, but we can't assemble it till spring because the ground's too cold and it's icy. It's icy and snowy and we can't assemble the swing set. But that's a picture of what it will look like. And when we went, and, and when we went to, sh and when me and my brother went to shooting games. Not, this, not this brother, but this brother. This brother. So you guys went to shooting range with your daddy. And what else? Um, so, Mommy, um, so this is the picture of Halo. I got it, and now I'm going to make it for Daddy, and It's Halo. a Halo historical moment in your life? Oh, this is Halo. Um, <laughs> but you really like Halo, playing with Daddy? Yeah, but... How about you? Well, I broke my arm. You broke arm? Can you describe your picture to us? So that is the ambulance transporting me to the hospital. There's the traffic light. Um, at Upper Chesapeake, but I didn't just go to Upper Chesapeake. I went to Shock Trauma as well. Mm, yep. And there's some trees in the woods, but there's a guardrail. Nice. And there's a hospital. Very cool. And the lines to divide the road. They were able to go right through them, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Subscribe to our channel. Big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. Big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for you guys can hear our newest episodes. So stay tuned. See you guys later. Bye. Bye, bye, bye mommy.